Welcome to Online Algebra. This will be a quick tutorial on how to navigate through this D2L shell. As you can see, we have weekly buttons available for you that contain the content and weekly assignments for that week. As we scroll down on the left-hand side of the page, there is an instructor widget with some information about your instructor, where to find them on campus, and their phone number. Underneath that, there is an office hours widget the times that your instructor is available through those preferred methods of contact. On the right hand side, the My Lab and Mastering Links Pearson widget will allow you to link your D2L account to your My Math Lab account. So when you go to work on your homework in this course, you won't have to go to the Pearson page and log in. You will be able to access it through this D2L shell. In order to access My Math Lab through this D2L shell, you will need to link it through D2L first. If you go to the Pearson site and sign up for this course first before linking your D2L account, you won't have the ability to link anymore through D2L. However, if you do link it first through D2L, you have the option to log in through the Pearson site should D2L be down for some reason. Underneath that is the Announcements widget. Your instructor will post any pertinent information here, and as you can see, we have a few assignments available for you already. So let's go ahead and scroll back up and actually click into the Start Here option so you can see what those windows look like. So on this page is a lot of information about how to link your D2L account to My Math Lab and how to actually register for My Math Lab in this class. The textbook information is available to you, and you will need a My Math Lab access code for this course. The physical textbook is not needed, and if you purchase a My Math Lab access code, it comes with an e-textbook. If you are not able to purchase your textbook right this minute, we do have a two-week temporary access code available to you. If you're waiting on your financial aid, then this will provide you the opportunity to get in and be working on that homework. We want to stay on top of things. Scrolling down a little bit farther, we have a little tutorial on actually how to use My Math Lab if this is your first time using that system. For example, how to submit an assignment, how to input an answer, where to check your grades, where to find your homework. That can all be viewed within that tutorial. And how to move about this course. So at the bottom of the screen in the right hand, you can see these little arrows that allow you to toggle between the slides. It's also available at the top as well top right and I'll go ahead and click and show you the next slide. First thing you'll want to do in this course is actually read through the online syllabus. So anything that is in yellow and underlined and that will actually highlight when you roll over it is a hyperlink. So you can go ahead and click it and it will take you to the document that it's describing. So as you can see here, here is a sample of our online syllabus. So that is available to you and you will need to take a 10 question true or false syllabus quiz. Once you take that quiz and get all 10 correct, you will unlock the rest of the course. Toggling to the next screen, some more important information. For this course, you will need to have a proctor for your exams. If you are within a 30 minute radius of Great Falls College, we ask you that you take your proctored exams here on campus at our testing center. And the information can be found at this second hyperlink. We also want you to fill out this one question proctor survey. It just lets us know if you will be taking your exams here at the testing center or if you will need to find an off-campus proctor. Should you need to find an at-a-distance proctor, there is an instruction pamphlet for a proctor agreement and the proctor agreement form that both you and your proctor will need to sign and return to our testing center. After you've toggled through all of the slides available, you might come to a page that looks similar to this. So this is within our content tab, and I'll go ahead and click it just to show you. It comes to the same place. You can find anything listed in this course within this content page. So for some reason, if those buttons aren't working, you still have the availability to come in and click through week one and see what's available. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back to our starting page and jump into week one. The first slide that you will see is an overview of what we will be doing in this course. And again, anything yellow is a hyperlink that will take you to a new document. So I'll go ahead and start on our point one. 
So your teacher might have a different layout with this screen, but anything in yellow is hyperlinked. There may be videos for you to watch and follow along with. There may be a quiz. There is also a link for your My Math Lab homework that you can select. And if you have linked your D2L to your My Math Lab account, it will take you right there. Now that you've had a quick rundown on how to operate within this course, you want to go ahead and start linking your My Math Lab account to your D2L shell. Answer that one question proctor survey and go ahead and get started on the syllabus quiz.